Hi there, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to brew premium loose leaf green tea using three methods. If you've been exploring the world of green tea, you probably noticed that there are many, many different green teas varying in look and taste. Even teas with the same name can look and taste differently from vendor to vendor. It's also possible that you were gifted a tea and you have no idea what kind of green tea it is. How can you brew up a perfect sip for yourself? This how-to video will navigate you away from the traditional logic of first figuring out what tea it is and then deciding how to brew it. Instead, we will focus on observing the appearance of the tea leaves and brew them accordingly, so that whether you know what tea it is or not, you'll always know how to brew it. If you'd like to learn more about Chinese tea and its culture, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know about our latest videos and live sessions. The recommended brewing vessel for premium loose leaf green tea is the glass. The glass is best for enjoying the beautiful hand plucked tea buds dancing in the water as we pour it over them and as they infuse. Besides being a great opportunity to observe and appraise the quality of not only the plucking, seeing the leaves also tells us about the terroir, the season, the craftsmanship, etc. Xia to fa means putting the tea leaves in the glass first, then fill the water up. This way is best for teas that have a puffier look, meaning that they are bulkier and have a larger volume compared to their weight. These kinds of green tea leaves also take longer to sink down to the bottom once brewed. In this video, we are infusing Huangshan Mao Feng as an example. It's rich and sweet, refreshing and brisk with a lingering aftertaste, making it one of the most famous green teas in China. The rough leaf to water ratio for brewing green tea is about one to 50, which will be the guideline for this video as well. But never hesitate to adjust. Some people might like their green tea stronger, while others enjoy a milder sip. We are brewing for ourselves, so it's not about right and wrong, but finding what suits us best. Look at this ugly tea, so hairy and fuzzy tiny, tiny leaves bundled together, we can hardly tell them apart. And it's more gray than green. However, this is what a top grade Bilo Chun should look like. This rather odd brewing method is ideal for extremely small, tender leaves with tight curls, especially those with an abundance of tea fuzz, such as Bilo Chun or Mengding Gan Lu.
The recommended green tea brewing temperature is usually about 80 to 90 degrees Celsius. Feel free to lower the water temperature if you find that a green tea brewed with this temperature is too astringent or bitter for you. You can also use boiling water to brew if you have a fine tasting grade green tea. The key to brewing green tea, or any tea, is to adjust and find your sweet spot. I'll definitely use boiling water for this tea. It will be too wasteful to brew it at a low water temperature. Boiling water brings out the best of a fine tea. The biggest misunderstanding about teas and tea brewing is that the good teas are delicate and you have to brew them precisely, or that you will ruin your high quality tea if you brew it wrong. The fact is, the better the quality of the tea, the more forgiving it is to brew. But by brewing it properly, we can bring out and fully enjoy the details and nuances in the taste that mark the tea as a next level tasting experience. This Bilo Chun's ridiculous richness in tea fuzz will make the liquor very cloudy if we don't use the Shang Po Fa method. The young tea buds and leaves sprout in early spring and are only half to one quarter the size of my pinky nail. It's entirely handmade using the traditional method and even includes the Hui Guo step, which is now omitted in the green tea process to allow for faster production. If you ever consider spending a handsome sum on top-notch Bilo Chun, please use the look of this Bilo Chun as a reference. It will help reduce the chance of you getting a counterfeit. Zhong Tou Fa is one of the best ways to brew tender, young green tea, especially tasting grade green tea. The uniqueness of Zhong Tou Fa is that there's an extra step during brewing where the tea leaves have a brief moment with a small amount of water. This is a great chance for us to enjoy the aroma of the tea. Anji Bai Cha features its pale green leaves, rich in L-theanine, giving it a very sian, umami, and sweet taste. The smelling step helps demonstrate the delicate and elegant aroma of fine green tea. Once the leaves are gently and evenly saturated, it's time to fill the cup. If you prefer to brew green tea without too much thinking or deciding, this is the way to go since it works with just about any green tea. We don't suggest rinsing green tea as the rinse brew washes away a lot of the tea fuzz or trichomes, which are highly valued in tasting grade green tea. Moreover, most of the nutrition of the tea will be lost with the rinse.
In this video, we shared with you some basic rules and guidelines for brewing different green teas and demonstrated step-by-step -step how to do it at home easily using Huangshan Mao Feng, Anji Bai Cha, and Bi Lo Chun as examples. If you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. I hope that you can proceed to brew various green teas with confidence now, even the more esoteric ones. But what about Taiping Ho Kui, the biggest green tea? Now that you've watched this video, which method would you use to brew Taiping Ho Kui? Share your thoughts by commenting down below. We'd love to know. If you're still not sure how to approach these gigantic tea leaves, don't worry. We are going to dedicate a full video to this unique tea. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any videos or live broadcasts from us. Until next time, keep steeping!